Welcome to the Kanban Board App in Gato tutorial. In this tutorial series, you will learn about theming, user interface design, loading and saving data, drag and drop and much more in Gato. If you haven't subscribed already, do subscribe it's free and helps the videos reach more people. Don't forget to like too. So let's get started with this video. First, I'm going to remove the test color labels and card. Let's make a new scene for the column. We want a vertical layout, so add a panel and margin container. To that add a we box container. Then add a label for the title. Add a H separator for some spacing. And a scroll container. Give the label some text. For the panel container, set the minimum size to 180 by 250. We want the column to expand vertically, so enable it in the size flags. Let's also increase the margin in the margin container to 12 pixels. Drag and drop the custom theme on the panel container to apply it to this scene. Let's also change the background color, by adding a style box flat. We need to add another H separator for some more spacing after the scroll container. Then add a button. For the first separator, set the separation to 4. For the next one set it to 8. To the button, add a margin container, and to it add a H box container. To the H box add a texture rect and a label. This will be our add item button. Drag and drop the add item image for the texture. And change the text of the label. Let's center the texture by setting the stretch mode to keep aspect centered. Select the button and add style box empty for the normal and focus styles. For the pressed style, add a style box flat and change the background color. Drag and drop this style box to the hover style also. Click the margin container, and set its layout to full rect. This will make it take up all the space of the button. Also, increase the margin a little. On the scroll container, enable the vertical expand size flag. The button is slightly offset because of the margin container, so let's change the minimum size of the button. Now the button is centered. To the scroll container add a H box container. And to that add a we box container. To the H box add a we separator and increase its separation. This is to give some spacing when the scroll bar is visible. 
enable the vertical expand flag on it. And for the Wii box enable both the expand flags. Rename the Wii box to cards. And rename the other nodes adequately. Let's make the column a little broader, by changing the minimum size of the scroll container. Ok, time to theme the scroll bars. Select the column node, and in the theme section, click add class items. Then choose the H scroll bar. Even though we won't use this scroll bar, let's still theme it. In its styles section, add a style box flat to the grabber style. Change the color. Set the border and corners to 5 pixels. In the expand margin, set the left and right to 5 pixels. We use left and right since it is a horizontal scroll bar. Disable draw center. Now, drag and drop this style on the other grabber styles too. For the scroll style, add a style box flat. Again change the color, border and corner size. Disable draw center. Let's now theme the vertical scroll bar, it will almost be the same as the horizontal scroll bar. Select the Wii scroll bar. Here since it's a vertical scroll bar, set the top and bottom expand margin to 5. We need some more width on the column. In the Wii box container, change the min size X to 270. Ok, let's try the scene.
We need to set the other styles of the scroll bar too. Drag and drop the grabber style to the next two styles. Let's change the color and font of the column title. Drag and drop the bold font into the custom font of the label. Change the custom font color to a dark blue. Let's also remove the testing cards from the scene. That's it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on push notifications if you haven't already so you don't miss a new video. Do like and comment on the video too.